So what I've recently done is I've gone ahead and gotten a four parts or not working Nintendo Entertainment System. And if you didn't realize that it was a Nintendo Entertainment System, well, I don't know what rock you've been living under in, but it must be a very peaceful one. Um, so uh, basically the idea behind this is all they listed it as was front LED links. They didn't say any kind of code it gave, they didn't say anything about it, and what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to refurbish it right here the same way we did like the record player, because I don't do many refurbishments, and we'll, if it doesn't work, I'll still post the video. And if it does work, then I'll post the video for sure. Anyway, alright, so I got ahead and wired it up, I got the TV going. Yes, I still use a CRT TV, but that's good enough, eh? And, um, well, let's go ahead and uh, fire it up, shall we? So, power it on. Here's our flashing LED, and what I'm getting on the TV, the camera can't focus fast enough, but is an orange blinking screen, which isn't that useful to us. So, I guess what we can do next is we can go ahead and we can try to boot up a game. So, Isn't anything in it, is there? No? Okay. So I'm gonna put in Legend of Zelda. And we have it right there. It's a little strange to push in by the way. And that should do it. Nope. We're getting orange. As you can see. So, it's powering on, powering off. So there could be a few things here. Either we have an issue, I'll turn this off, it's going to the hell out of me. We've either got some kind of issue in terms of a power supply, uh, which I kind of doubt is the issue because it's able to turn on. We've got an issue in the display itself, or, which is a very common issue, I looked it up before I got it blinking red light, is it could be just the pins. So that's what I already suspected it to be. So as soon as I got it, I also ordered a replacement one of these. So I'm hoping that the 72 pin connector is the only issue with this NES. If it isn't, well then we'll look further into things. But if it is, well, then we're in luck, because that's a really, really simple fix. So, I suppose what's nice is we're going to go ahead and take this apart. And I've got to get some better lighting, so I'll be right back. So, first things first, we're going to want to look for some screws. So, on the bottom side of this, I believe there are six screws that we need to take out in particular. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, yep. And I'm pretty sure you have to take these ones out too, but we'll find out. If you already know how, well, you're probably looking at me like I'm an idiot, but hey. Alright, so I've removed all the screws. Well, only two came out, but hopefully they'll... There they go. That's the rest of them. Alright. So now, we can just go ahead and lift off the casing. And there we are. Looks like there's nothing else. It's in pretty good condition. Uh, if you may have noticed, the only thing that's really not in that great of a condition is the Nintendo logo itself on the front. So uh, that's a very curious thing. Maybe they replaced the top half of the shell or something along those lines. So, next up, what we're going to want to do... I'm actually going to use the top half as a screw holder. Uh, maybe not, I don't know. Um... But the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take off this shielding, I would presume. So, let's take a look here. Yep. So there's a couple of screws around the outer edge, and uh, so on and so forth. They're pretty self-explanatory where they are. You don't really need to go into too much detail, so I'll just go ahead and take those out. I believe there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven screws in total. So overall, this doesn't seem to be in 
too bad of a condition. I just zoom in here. Focus, please. Thank you. Um, so, uh, the pins are in relatively good condition, which is a little bit not so great. I was hoping that they would look worse, because that would definitely guarantee that that is our issue. But these are a little bit shinier. <laughs> so, maybe that's it. Um, so, I'm still going to go with that hunch, though, that that is actually the issue. And I'm going to go ahead and continue to take off this bezel right here. So let's see, what screws do we have here? And again, I'm just doing this as I go, so I'm not too sure if I'm 100% correct. Looks like we have three, three screws. Strange, there's one missing right here. At least I think so, because there's one on this side. That's a strange number. Okay. Right. So now we have a motherboard with a lot of cables attached to it and those cables look detachable, thankfully. So that's just what I'm going to do is detach these. How tricky. There we So, now we got ourselves another board, we can put this aside. And I'm thinking... It just comes right off. I'm thinking that we can just pull this off right here. But I'm not too sure. 100%, there might be a screw on the bottom. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Should I go for... Oh, oh, there we are, we're getting it to move. Getting it to move. It's a little sticky on there. I might probably end up damaging something. You know what? Oh, oh. There it is. Look at that. So, those pins look a little bit. Just a little bit. Worn down. I don't know if you can see it. Give her a good zoom in. Auto focus, come on now. I gotta reset the focus, give me a sec. There we are. So as you can see, it's a little bit dirtied up on both sides. A little bit dirtied up. Um, in terms of the original, It's a bit scuffed up too. Huh. Well, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and wipe these down and focus is gone again. Why is it being such a pain? There. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to file these down, and I'll show you how to do that. If you haven't seen my cleaning a cartridge video, that's how you do that. And uh, I'll be right back. So the way that I generally like to clean off pins like these, whether it be a cartridge or anything, I have a video about it, is I like to use just an eraser. And um, most people will say, take some alcohol or take, a, take some kind of cleaner. But really, all you need is an eraser, because what an eraser does is it just files down the surface a little bit. So any kind of useless rub on there, just comes right off. Pink or white, doesn't matter what kind of eraser you have. You can see some of the scuff marks and other old stuff. Just starting to come right off. And just Take your time with it. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same for the other side. As you can see, ooh, 
or I can't see is a lot dirtier relative to the other. So I'll be right back. So now I'm going to attempt. Let me make sure I got the right one here. I'm going to attempt to put this back on. Again, it's going to be a little bit rough because this is a brand new one and the tension on it is a lot higher than the original. But um, we're going to try. So I'm going to get that all aligned. Let's give her a push. If I go out of focus or off camera, you'll know why. Okay, that went on a lot smoother than I thought it would. Well, there you go. That's pretty easy. That's a simple, easy thing to do. I guess next up, what we could do is just power it up and give her a try, see if it works. I really hope it does, but we'll see. All right, I've got my copy of Zelda in there with the new cartridge. I'm gonna go ahead, push it down. That was quite a hassle to put in, by the way, that cartridge. It's gonna take a while to wear that down. Now, for the moment, I'll be waiting for it. I won't be surprised, to be honest, if it doesn't work. But without further ado, I present orange. But, 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 I'm very happy because. What do you notice? The light isn't blinking and the screen is stable. Which means... Oh, now autofocus is working. Um, which means that... We've done something, for sure. So it is in the cartridge slot. Oh, jeez. This is gonna be a fun one. So... I suppose what's next... Is... Maybe we should look into actually cleaning the cartridge. Um, because I haven't actually tested this cartridge at all. So it could be the cartridge. That's the thing. We have two sources of error right now. I don't have any other cartridges. I've only got this one. And I don't even know if it works fully. But that definitely did solve an issue. As it no longer blinks and we have a stable screen rather than a blinking screen. Because before on the CRT, which by the way the reason I'm not using is because I made room for my new computer if you saw that video, if you didn't then go check that out um, but no longer blinking so I'm gonna go ahead and keep fiddling with this and I'll let you know what happens or if I make a Eureka then I'll start filming again okay so as soon as I turn the camera off I figured out what the problem was so when I push this cartridge down and I turn it on as you see orange screen, but we fixed the blinking, so it was obviously in the 72-pin connector. But then I turned it off and I was like, you know what, I'm going to eject it. And then I was like, it takes a while to eject. Let's try it while it's up. Yeah. So that was the only issue with it, was literally the cartridge connector, the 72 pin connector, so if you have a blinking NES, please don't throw it out, it's a very, very valuable piece of history, just get a new 72 pin connector, that's all I did to it, so unfortunately it doesn't, I won't be able to push it down, but I don't really care, because you can just close the lid on your NES anyways, so, thanks for sticking around, I'm going to go ahead and get a controller, I don't own any controllers. Well, I'm gonna go get a controller off eBay and I'll be right back with you, showing you some footage of it actually working. So I went ahead and I got myself a controller. It's been a couple of, it's been about a week. And um, so now I can go ahead and actually play the games on the NES. So as you can see, I'll put it up. Yeah. Push that start button. Start button. This isn't the best controller. It's actually a knockoff. It's not the real thing. It's made in just a, one that's made in China somewhere. But I mean, it does the job. 
and uh, yeah, so all the buttons work. <laughs> but you get the point. So this has been a very successful refurbishment. So if you see one around that says blinking red light, chances are it could just be a simple issue like this. Um, I've never been very lucky with refurbishment, so this is a very lucky refurbishment. Again, I'll stop talking. Thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you hopefully next time.